The idea that Moscow has some kind of plan to attack NATO is a stupid attempt to maintain the West's global hegemony by fear, Russian President Vladimir Putin has said. Putin was asked about NATO's preparations to defend from a Russian invasion at the meeting with the heads of the world's major news agencies on Wednesday, on the sidelines of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Look, someone has imagined that Russia wants to attack NATO. Have you gone completely insane? Are you as thick as this table? Who came up with this nonsense? Putin said. Why is this being done, really? To maintain their own position of greatness, that's why. There's nothing to these scary stories, intended for the townsfolk in Germany and France and elsewhere in Europe, Putin explained. In Ukraine, we're just protecting ourselves. Don't make up things and then form opinions about Russia on the basis of them, he added. You only hurt yourselves this way. During the session, which lasted more than three hours, Putin repeatedly addressed the root causes of Russia's intervention in Ukraine, from the 2014 US-backed coup to the atrocities of the Kiev government in the Donbass and the failed Minsk peace process that Western leaders have admitted to being a sham. The Russian president argued that the US hasn't poured billions of dollars in cash, weapons, ammunition and equipment into Ukraine because it loves Ukrainians, but because of the belief that this will further American greatness and global leadership. Не надо ничего придумывать и на, этой, на, на этих придумках значит, формировать мнение о России. Не надо формировать образ врага из России. Вы сами себе только вредите этому, этим, понимаете? Вот придумывали, что Россия хочет напасть на НАТО. Вы сбрендили совсем, что ли? Тупые вообще, как этот стол? Кто это придумал? Это чушь, понимаете? Бред собачий. Но это, был бы, это было бы бредом, да? если бы не было задумки для того, чтобы одурачивать свое собственное население. Говорить, а, караул, скоро Россия на нас нападет, и мы должны срочно вооружаться, срочно значит, направлять вооружение значит, на Украину. А на самом деле для чего это делать? Чтобы удержать свое собственное имперское положение и величие. Вот для чего это делается. On June 4th. The defense forces on the front line eliminated 1,280 Russian invaders. Thus, the Russian Federation's losses in manpower during the full-scale invasion of Ukraine reached 513,700 people. Dozens of enemy military equipment and weapons were also destroyed, including 40 artillery systems. Ukrainian soldiers destroyed 12 Russian tanks. Also destroyed were 16 armored combat vehicles, 40 artillery systems and three air defense systems. Ukraine has destroyed two of Russia's Panzer S-1 air defense systems, officials said. Ukraine has been hunting Russia's network of air defenses such as the short-range Panzer to counter Moscow's continuing efforts to target the country's infrastructure. The Panzer S-1, thought to be worth in the region of $15 million, is designed for use against aircraft, cruise missiles, precision-guided munitions, and for supporting other air defense units against larger strikes. The head of the Center for Strategic Communications of the Southern Defense Forces of Ukraine, Dmitry Pletenchuk, said that the command post and drone control center were also destroyed besides, in the Kharkiv sector, the battle near Vovchansk has been going on since the beginning of the day. Ukrainian defense forces continue to strengthen the front line of defense. Recently, the defense forces have significantly displaced the Russians in the city of Volchansk. Military observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko believes that the occupiers may leave the city altogether, for this they don't have much time left. The Russians cannot maintain in an urban environment the ruins into which they turned Volchansk. And, let's just say, I think that they don't have much time left here to completely leave this populated area and start retreating to the border with the Russian Federation. The resource, as we see, is not enough. In fact, we have already had a month since they are trying to carry out these raids in the Kharkov region. The result, we see, is not only no different from what happened a week ago, two weeks ago, but even worse, Kovalenko said.